and welcome. So you can see a typical morning here of Eva leaving the house. Here we go, Wolfie. We'll you big boy, you know what's doing. I'm so big. Yeah, yeah. You so are big. so big, yeah. There we go. I'm so big. Eva. <laughs> Is it shut here? No. Big boy Okay, so it's, we're very lucky because we have the underground car park where we can just chain it up, low security. So we just have the basic security on it, which is a wheel lock and a chain lock. And you can see Eva just undoing it quickly there. Um, and that's it. I mean, if you didn't have secure parking like we have, there's the option to have a ground anchor and then you can lock it securely to a ground anchor outside the front of your house or in a garage or, or whatever it may be. But we've got security gates, CCTV, and you know, it's, it's, it's perfectly secure here. Bye bye. What's amazing is how easy it is to park, how much they enjoy it. Like when I've come in the car before, you have to find a parking space, which you have to cross roads with two kids. It's an absolute nightmare. It takes me, what we've just done in about, about seven minutes, in a car, it will take me half an hour. So for other mums out there, whatever it is, you know, if they've got multiple drops and stuff, it's like, it's ridiculous. Basically they can do like, they can add so much things to their itinerary, like rather than sitting in traffic, they can add swimming lessons, tennis lessons, what, whatever it may be, and, it, and just enjoyment and no stress. The main thing for me is that, you know, normally you just have a buggy and you sort of end up doing the same thing over and over again because uh, your your options are limited but with a cargo bike you know I take them to Hackney Marshes to even sometimes up to Epping Forest pack uh, the pannier bags full of you know stuff a little blanket she sleeps in the forest and we used to have like a massive adventure because of, of this bike that's been the most I think our, our Sundays are like a standard thing now is we go in the cargo bike and we go exploring and we take as much stuff as we can possibly take and you can see with these panniers I mean these are the Autolev Pro panniers they're 90 litres you can fit 25 kg across the two yeah you could go camping <laughs> and then you can put these on top as well exactly so, you can get so much stuff and like you know even from fruit and veg outside a shop where you can literally park right outside the door and basically just literally lock the back lock take the pannier off go into the shop put all your fruit and veg in or whatever you're buying and then literally just carry on your journey and you know whether it's a picnic or just on your way home it's just so stress-free and practical and fun i mean there's a lot of different gearing options and stuff with the bikes um, and I can go into a bit more detail here I mean this being the load 60 you can have three different gearing types you can have GT touring which is a standard derailleur and um, uh, you know st standard chain um, but then the options that I like um, is, is personally is, is the Vario it's called from Risa Muller and that's the Enviolo or used to be called Nuvinci that's the smoothest one and that's what I'd recommend for a family bike um, it's really intuitive, it's really easy, it complements the Bosch system, very, very low maintenance and, um, and it's just, it's, it's definitely the one, I, I, I've, well, it's the one I've chosen to go for. You can get the roll-off, which is one up. I would say it's more designed for kind of a, a, a heavier user, a more aggressive user, someone like a courier that's carrying a bit more load, that's hammering the bike all day. It's very, very, very robust um, and it's extremely advanced technology. It is amazing. As we share the bike, it's a lot more user friendly and easy like this and, and you know, I just, I, I actually do prefer it over the roll-off for this type of kind of easy riding, cruising. If I was going to be hammering it across the city and picking up loads, I'd definitely have the, the E14 roll-off. But this selection for me, I, we also went for the twin battery just because, um, why not? I mean, um, you know, charge it less, be able to go further, have no range anxiety. 
um, and uh, you know with two kids and a busy lifestyle sometimes we might forget to charge it but it just doesn't matter if you've got the twin battery because it like literally almost never runs out it's amazing you can fold it here as well I mean more importantly you can adjust the geometry so if I'm, I'm slightly taller than ever so I might adjust it ever so slightly for me just to have a slightly longer reach um, but if you did want to fit it into you know kind of a state car or a van or something you can fold it all the way down which is quite cool um, and I mean that's uh, we chose to have the mirror as well but I mean that's pretty much this bike it's just fantastic um, we used to have the Pax to 40 when we had one kid um, but now obviously having two it's much better to have the uh, two seat option it's also how this uh, waterproof it's so thing. easy to put on um, it takes like literally about 30 seconds and you have a, a rain cover which is like a little tent which has got all windows and you can unzip the sides and they can go on in the winter time it might live on the bike um, and then they can just access it through the sides um, but it's extremely easy to put on and the kids love it so that's a really good option the load means full suspension so this is the 60 version what full suspension gives you is basically this part here so you can see from the back it just gives you much more comfort and much more control and I would say it's actually a safety feature as well because when you know if you some if you had to swerve or something because um, someone pulled out in front of you the the control you're going to get from the full suspension is going to be much better because the back of the bike is kind of kind of much more glued to the road and this is very low travel very damp and just really yeah, but just also for the kids because they don't like when it's hard exactly exactly they, the they comfort want... for the kids is much better they, they sleep astrid slept when we went to Wanstead park the other day astrid slept for two hours in the cargo bike and it was perfectly fine especially in the tilted position you can see here we've got the, the, tip, the, the seat tilted back and basically you can for our size kids it's perfect but what you can do on the new 2020 models is you can literally just lift them up a bit dirty this one it's very well used pop it back like that now a little bit more leg space a bit more leg space so you can do it on both but then as the kids get older just pop pop that out pop that back like that and lock them in like that it's a bit more upright for them but it's perfectly fine I mean we've traveled like miles and miles like that and then you can literally just pop this bit here and it just clips in like so and then basically you can actually fit an adult in here like that so you can fit one adult in here or two I big actually kids went when i was in labor <laughs> yeah so when, yeah, like when <laughs> whenever was in labor we decided to take her to the hospital, to hospital, hospital. Because there's no parking there's no parking and it was unknown like you know how long it might take because the traffic can be bad in hackney and the parking can take 45 minutes to find a parking space if at all so i literally took her to the birthing um suite and then dropped her off and then literally just whizzed around, parked it up, locked it with a D-lock and, um, and then we went upstairs and had our baby and um, we decided not to take the baby home in the cargo bike on this occasion we thought that, that He wanted be, to, I said no Yeah, that might be a bit OTT <laughs> um, But overall, I mean, get a cargo bike It's not a car, it is a car It's just the best thing I own, like, hands down, love it Thank you